What's good, y'all? Today I'm going to show you how to play Work Boots by Cody Johnson. It's in standard tuning. If you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button for me and stuff. I appreciate it. It's going to be in finger style, so your thumb is going to get the 6th, 5th, and 4th string. First finger 3, middle 2, and ring 1. The chord you're going to need is a G, 320033. E minor, 020000. A minor, 002210, fifth string down. D, 000232, fourth string down. C, 032010, fifth string down. And there's a B minor in the bridge, 024432, fifth string down. All right, um, so first let me show you this intro part. All right, so that part, so what you're gonna do, let me do it without the music one time. <clears throat> oh, yeah. All right, so you're gonna do that two times. All right, so what you're gonna do, it's gonna be on, this, on a G chord, but for this part, you really just need your middle finger on the sixth string, third fret, um, and and also, you're going to be moving your um, fingers where they normally would be. Um, so your first finger is, your thumb is going to be getting the sixth string still. But um, your uh, first finger is going to be getting the fourth string, middle finger third string, and ring finger second string for this part. Alright, and what you're going to do, you're going to hit six. Alright, then open fourth string. Then six. Then second fret fourth string, then six, then open third string, then six, and then second fret third string, then six, and then open second string. All right, so the first part is this right here, slow. All right, then the second time you do it, you're just gonna go. All right, so the second time, you're just gonna go six, four, six, four, second fret, and then six, three, open third string. All right, you're just gonna do that two times for the intro and at the end of the choruses. All right, so all together, slow first. Hold on, let me start over. You're going to do that two times. All right, and that's that part. Um, so, um, so after that, you're going to start on a G for the verse. And for the verse, um, you can play whatever G chords you want, really. But in my opinion, it sounds better if you use the three-finger G for the verse. But um, let me show you. Ain't got no problem getting... So let me go ahead and tell you the pattern first. So on the G, it's going to go. Alright, so, and I forgot to do the three finger G, but it would sound like this. Alright, so anyway, three finger G sounds better in the verse. Alright, but, um, so the pattern on the G is going to be six, three. Wait. Yeah, so it'll be six, three. Then pinch six and two. All right, let me start over. On the G, six, three, pinch six and two, then hit three, and then six, pinch, hold on. All 
All right, my bad. So let me start over. I was confused. All right, so the pattern on the G is going to be 6, 3, pinch 6 and 2, and then 3, and then 6, 3, pinch 6 and 1, and then 3. All right, so all together. All right, so one more time in case you confu I confuse you. 6, 3, pinch 3. 6, 3, pinch 3. All right, that's going to be your G. Your E minor is the same thing. 6, 3, pinch 3. 6, 3, pinch 3. All right, so you're still pinching the 6th and 2nd string and 6th and 1st string on that E minor. All right, so one more time on that one. 6, 3, pinch 6, 2, 3. 6, 3, pinch 6, 1 then three. All right, so the E minor. All right, your A minor is the same thing. You just start using the fifth string instead of the sixth string. All right, so it's going to be five, three, pinch five, two, three, five, three, pinch five, one, three. All right, so your A minor is five, three, pinch three, five, three, pinch three. All right, your D is the same thing. You're just using the fourth string. Four, three, pinch three. Four, three, pinch three. All right, so you're pinching four and two and four and one on the D. All right, so your verses from the top is going to be G. You can do whichever one, but the three finger one sounds better. So your G. So the verse is this: G, E minor. A minor, D, repeat, alright, so that's your uh, verses, alright, just G, E minor, A minor, D. All right, your chorus is almost the same, but the pattern is going to switch up. So let me show you that real quick. Along with onward boots, go tapping right along with the groove. At three little things, look at me, I'm counting on you. So come on, work boots. We got a little work to do. Looks like she won't. Alright, so the pattern on the chorus changes. So let me play it one time without the music. My bad. Alright, so your pattern is going to switch up, but it's the same progression. Um, kind of. I'll show you what I mean in a second. But, um, the pattern on the G is going to be, for the chorus, 6-3, huh? Oh. Alright, my bad. For the G, for the chorus, is going to be 6-3, pinch 4 and 2, 3, 6-3, pinch 4 and 1, and then 3. Alright, so your G, 6-3, pinch 3, 6-3, pinch 3. Your E minor is the same thing. Six, three, pinch, three, six, three, pinch, three. But you're just, you, my bad, it's not the same thing. Your E minor is six, three, and pinch five and two, and then three, and then six, three, pinch five, one, and then three. All right, so your E minor is six, three, pinch, three, six, three, pinch, three. Your A minor is Five, three, pinch, six, and two, three. Five, three, pinch, six, one, three. All right, so your A minor. All right, your D is four, three, pinch, five, and two, three. Four, three, pinch, five, and one, three. All right, so your chorus is the same, except for the only thing at the end, it's going to, the end of the progression for the chorus, going to end on a C, all right? 
And um, then you're going to do this at the end of the chorus. You know what I mean? Just like the intro. But, um, so the chorus all together. Let me play it with it a little bit. I wouldn't want to miss our chance. She might be the one to change our world. But we ain't gonna get the girl sitting on a stool. We gotta make our move. See right there? The um, chorus ended right there on a C. Alright, so the chorus one more time from the top all together. G. E minor, A minor, D, G, E minor, A minor, and then C. Or maybe you do that, hold on, let me see something. I just don't want to play too much of it. So, all right, so the chorus from the top, let me do it one more time because I didn't know it um, was a short chorus. All right, so the chorus, G, E minor, A minor, D, G, E minor, A minor, C. When you get to the C, just strum it. All right, and then after you do that, do this like the intro again. You know what I'm saying? And then the next verse is just like the first one. You just do the same pattern as the first verse. Um, that's almost the whole song. There's going to be a bridge where that uh, B minor gets thrown in there. So let me find that. Right here. Alright, right here. B minor. A minor. B minor, A minor. Alright, yeah, so your um, pattern, so for the bridge, you're gonna, it starts on a B minor, and the pattern on the B minor is gonna be 5 3, pinch 4 2, 3, 5 3, pinch 4 1, and then 3. All right, you already know the A minor, but your bridge is going to be B minor, A minor, B minor, A minor. All right, and then after that, you're just going to, you already know how to play the whole song. You know how to play the whole song now, but um, anyway, that is and was work boots. Hope y'all liked it. Y'all have any questions, let me know. Till next time, gone.